What's up YouTube, it's Josh. Once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. And in this video, I wanna talk about the best way to warm up before your workouts. I see a lot of people still doing passive stretching before they train. And although that's been done for a long time and understand there are some benefits to stretching, stretching before your workouts could potentially increase the risk of injury because when you passively stretch a muscle, it does dampen the nervous system activation of the muscle for a, at least a couple of hours after that. So you're actually making the muscle slightly weaker right before your workout, which is exactly what you don't want. Another thing I see a lot of people still doing is cardiovascular exercise as part of their warm up before their workout. Now, if you're gonna be doing a cardiovascular workout, then that may make sense, but if you're gonna be doing strength training exercises, expending your energy with cardio before your weights, might not be the best way to do that. So what I'm gonna suggest is some alternatives to those traditional ways of warming up, and that includes a dynamic warm up, which some of you who are athletes probably are familiar with, uh, and also some stuff that some of you may not be doing called uh, core activation, or some isometric exercises for your core. And I look at this as sort of tightening up your muscle belt. So activating and engaging the muscles around your midsection and your spine and trunk. So by doing this core activation and the dynamic warm up, you can not only prevent injuries, but also improve your performance in that workout. So let's get right into the warm up. Okay, so we're starting off with the dynamic warm up and we're beginning with high knees. With a dynamic warm up, you want to be progressive. So, starting with a low range of motion and uh, low speed activities and gradually increasing the speed and the range of motion. So, we're going from a walking high knee into a fast high knee. So, we move from walking to skipping to jogging high knees. Now, we're moving into butt kicks again, starting slow and gradually increasing the speed. So, we're doing jogging butt kicks here. And then we're moving into single leg deadlifts. Now, as you see, these can be performed stationary, but up in the top right, you can see this can also be performed as a walking or a moving drill if you have a track to work with or a big open space at your gym. But I understand a lot of people have limited space to work with. Moving on to leg swings, reaching one arm towards the opposite leg. Now, you don't have to reach down to touch your toes here. Try and stay nice and tall and just progress with a range of motion that you're comfortable with. Next up is the lunge with rotation. As a stationary drill, just perform reverse lunges. Uh, if you're doing this as a moving drill, perform regular walking lunges, but with each step, rotate or twist your upper body toward the leg that's leading while keeping your knee lined up over the foot. Now we want to introduce some lateral movement with the side to side squat or the lateral lunge. This will help to open up your hips as well as gradually increase flexibility through your inner thigh, which is important for preventing injuries, especially if you're participating in a sporting activity. Again, gradually increase the speed and range of motion with this exercise. And finally, we're going to finish off the dynamic warm up with some arm circles for the upper body. Starting with forward arm circles, beginning with a small range of motion and gradually increasing the range and speed, and then moving on to reverse arm circles, gradually increasing it depending on your shoulder's comfort and stability. And now let's look at some core activation exercises, holding each position for 10 to 15 seconds and starting off with a plank, progressing to a single leg plank once you're strong enough to do so. And the second exercise is the upper back extension or prone cobra. Make sure that you externally rotate your arms at the sides of your body. Moving on to the flying dog, extending the opposite arm and leg and think of making your body long rather than lifting your arm and leg up towards the ceiling. Hold each position and make sure you do both sides evenly. Next up is the side plank, progressing to a single leg side plank, engaging the muscles along the side of your spine, trunk and core. Be sure to hold both sides for the same amount of time. The hip bridge is a particularly important exercise for desk jockeys or people that work or sit at a desk all day. Extend at the hips by pressing through the heels and squeezing your butt. Try to focus on pushing from the hips, not from your lower back and progress to a single leg side plank as your strength increases. And finally, we're finishing off with hip crossovers. This isn't actually an isometric exercise, but it's a great movement for increasing lower back mobility and engaging the deep core transverse abs. I hope you found this video helpful. Give this warm up a try, and until next time, stay strong.